I've got five free audio effects here in DaVinci Resolve 20 that can fix your sound fast, and they're built right in. And the best part is they're free. Even if you're in the free version of DaVinci Resolve, these are free for you. Stick around till the end because I've got two more bonus tools that are going to help level up your audio even more. One that's in the free version, one that's in studio, and one of them that is just like a magical unicorn that will fix so many of your problems. These tools are easy to use, they're super effective, and they'll instantly make your sound better. Whether you're working on a YouTube video, maybe a podcast, or even a short film, let's jump in Resolve. We're in DaVinci Resolve here, and the first one of these five free audio effects, they're in the free version, all of them, is the Ducker. Check this out. One of the great new features here in DaVinci Resolve 20 is the Ducker, and that's gonna allow the music to automatically duck behind your dialogue while you're talking. So if I stop talking, that music is gonna come back up, and when I start talking again, it's gonna drop that music volume down right below my voice. It's gonna duck it for me. It's a great tool. The Ducker is so easy to use and it saves you a lot of time from doing manual work. To use it, just come into your timeline. You can select your audio track either in Fairlight or in the edit page here. I'm gonna come up and open my inspector at the top right. And right here under the audio tab, we have the Ducker. All you have to do is turn it on. You can select your source audio track. If you have multiple dialogue tracks, you can click on the plus and add another audio track in there for your music to react to. You set your duck level right here. And if you wanna adjust some of the advanced settings, you can right down here, but you don't have to. The default settings are pretty good. You might wanna adjust the rise time a little bit there, bonus. And that's it, you're off and running. And now your music will automatically duck below any of your dialogue. The next free audio effect here is the dialogue leveler. This is gonna help balance out your audio clips for you without you having to do a whole lot of work. Check this out. The dialogue leveler is another great free tool here in DaVinci Resolve in the free version in studio. And it's gonna help level out your dialogue for you. So if I'm close and it's kind of loud like this, it'll take that and make it a little bit closer like with the audio here, like when I'm a little farther away, it's gonna automatically adjust some of that for us. So Dialogue Leveler, use it, love it. It's a great free tool here in DaVinci Resolve. To apply that Dialogue Leveler, again, super easy, either in the edit page or in Fairlight. You wanna select your audio track, make sure your inspector is open, audio section up here at the top, and we have the AI Dialogue Leveler. Now this is in the free version, it should be there for you. Make sure you've got the track selected or you could do it on an individual clip if you'd like as well. In this case, I'm gonna do it on the track, turn on the Dialogue Leveler. And now there are some different options in here. You can select whichever one works best for your clip. And one of the nice features here, it can also reduce the background noise a little bit for you. So if you have background noise, you wanna reduce it a little bit, this is a good way to do that right in the free version. Once we've gone ahead and turned on the Dialogue Leveler, here's what it sounds like with the Dialogue Leveler enabled. The Dialogue Leveler is another great free tool here in DaVinci Resolve in the free version in studio, and it's gonna help level out your dialogue for you. So if I'm close and it's kind of loud like this, it'll take that and make it a little bit closer, like with the audio here, like when I'm a little farther away, it's gonna automatically adjust some of that for us. So Dialogue Leveler, use it, love it. It's a great free tool here in DaVinci Resolve. So the dialogue leveler is not gonna make everything even, you're still gonna have some depth to your audio, but it's gonna do a good job of just balancing things out a little bit for you. And you can always adjust the output gain to make it a little louder or a little quieter right in the inspector right here if you wanted to. The next free effect we wanna talk about here is the de -esser, and that's gonna take care of some of the harsh S sounds. It's not gonna get rid of them, too much of it is gonna make you sound like you got a lith, so you gotta be careful of all that, but here's how it works. The de is another one of those great effects in DaVinci Resolve that's in the free version. Sally sells seashells at the seashore. Harsh S sounds. The de is gonna help take care of that. We turn that on and here's what it sounds like. Sally sells seashells at the seashore. Not bad, right? So you can see there, it just kind of tames back those harsh S's a little bit. I use that on pretty much all my dialogue just to get any of those harsh S sounds. It's gonna do a great job for you and it's built right into Resolve, the free version, as well as Studio. In order to add the de -esser onto our track here or a clip, we can do it right here in the edit page or in Fairlight. Here's how you do it in the edit page. I'm gonna open up my effects library. I'm gonna come down to my audio effects. I've got my de -esser right here. And all you have to do is click, hold and drag and drop it onto this area right here to put it on your track. Or if you wanna put it on just a clip, drop it right here on top of your clip. 
boom, the effect is applied to your clip or your track, and now you can edit that effect and you're good to go. The next free effect we're gonna take a look at here is reverb, and reverb is very versatile. We can use a little bit of it or a lot of it, and it can really just add some space to your vocals, your dialogue, or just a sound effect even, and make it fit within your scene a little better. Check it out, here's a little bit of reverb in action. Reverb is one of those effects that can really add a lot of space to the audio in your videos. So right now there's no reverb. And now if we turn on reverb, it can sound like I'm in a huge space with lots of reverberations of my voice. So reverb can be really versatile. I use it on sound effects a lot just to kind of fill out the space and kind of make that sound a little bit bigger. And you can adjust it in so many different ways that it's it just is a really versatile tool to use to just get your dialogue to have a little bit more volume to it, a little bit of space to it, and kind of fit in your scenes a little bit better depending on where you're filming. To add in the reverb onto one of your tracks or clips, I would recommend a track because the reverb will carry on and continue to reverberate after one of your clips. But you could do it here in the edit page, but I'm gonna jump over into Fairlight because I think it's a little bit easier to add there. I'm gonna click on the musical notes at the bottom. Go to the track you wanna put your reverb on and all you have to do is make sure that your mixer is open. So you've got your mixer at the top here and you're gonna go ahead and click on the little plus. You're gonna come down to reverb Fairlight effects and reverb, you're gonna go ahead and add that on. If you're curious what settings I used on that effect that you heard in the video, these are the settings that I currently had set. This next free effect here in DaVinci Resolve 20 is an awesome one. I use it all the time on music and that is the stereo width effect. And what this is gonna do is take your music from your audio channels coming straight at you and it's gonna push them out to the side, make a little space in the middle for your dialogue here. I use this all the time when I've got music underneath of dialogue or, or any other kind of talking in my videos. Check it out, here's a little before and after. So can you hear how it spreads out the sound a little bit to your right and left channels, pushes that audio out a little bit? It's a great tool. I use it all the time on any of my music that's underneath my dialogue, and you should too. And of course, that is in the free version as well as studio. Now, in order to add the stereo width effect, we could do it right here in the edit page, or you could jump into Fairlight and add it in the mixer. I like to do it in Fairlight, so I'm going to click the musical notes at the bottom. In Fairlight here, make sure that your mixer is open at the top right here. You can come to the track you want to apply your stereo with too. I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus. Then I'm going to come down to spatial, fairlight effects, and stereo width. Click on that. There you go. You can see it edited twice. I don't need it twice. So I'm going to delete one. And there you go. You can adjust it however you need. Now let's get into those bonus effects here for you. And this one is the magical unicorn of an effect that Blackmagic Design has created, and that is the voice isolation. It is so good at removing background noise, I venture to say you don't need any other tools to remove background noise. You can reduce the background noise or completely remove it. Here's an example, check this out. The bonus tip here, it's in studio only, but it is a lifesaver if you need it. I got a lot of background noise here. I want my dialogue to come through. Voice isolation is the magical tool that is gonna get rid of that background noise for you. It's by far the best tool that you can have, so if you need it, pick up studio version. You won't regret it. If I turn it on, here's what it sounds like. Takes those air conditioners out. You can see the fans are still moving. Turn it off. Here it is. They're still making all that racket, but voice isolation can be a lifesaver if you need to get rid of background noise from your dialogue. So voice isolation, game changer, since it came out here in DaVinci Resolve a few versions ago, here's how you add it on. We can add it on a track or on an individual clip. If you want to add it on a track, you're going to select your track. And in either the edit page or Fairlight, in your inspector under the audio section, you're going to see voice isolation. In this case, I added it onto just the clip. So if I select my clip, Again, in my inspector audio section, we've got voice isolation right here. And you can see right now I put it at about 59%. So that's why you hear just a little bit of air conditioners in the background. It can completely remove it if we want, or you can just make those air conditioner noises or any background noises just a little bit quieter. So you don't always need 100%, but voice isolation, game changer. It's a phenomenal tool. It is only in studio, but I mean, if that alone is worth the price of studio. So voice isolation is awesome. If you've got studio, use it. If you don't have studio, you might want to think about picking it up. Just use voice isolation. 
And the second bonus effect here that I like to use very often on a lot of my dialogue is the multiband compressor. And that is in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So studio or free, you've got this one. Here's a little example of how it works. The second bonus effect I have for you is an effect called multi-band compressor. So if you were to edit your audio and it sounds a little thin, kind of like this, we can use the multi-band compressor to bring back some of that fullness and compress certain frequency ranges of our dialogue to make it sound better. So I like the multi-band compressor because I can bring up the low end after I've reduced the harsh frequencies and kind of bring back the fullness to my voice. In order to add the multi-band compressor, again, you can do it in the edit page or in Fairlight. Let's jump into Fairlight for this one. Musical notes at the bottom. You want to make sure your mixer is open in your effects section here. Go to the track that you want to apply the effect to. Click on the plus. Come on down to dynamics, Fairlight effects, and multi-band compressor. Now here's what it looks like in the typical types of settings that I use. I'll set the low up to maybe, you know, 90 something hertz around there. For the mid, I'll put that somewhere between 400 and 600. And then the high, I'll usually set somewhere around 3000 to 4000, somewhere around there. And you can use just the gain knob here to change the way that that compression is functioning on a given frequency range. So by increasing band two here a little bit, that's gonna bring back the fullness of my voice. And just as an extra bonus tip, if you did want to add any of these audio effects here in the edit page, you can do it easily as well. I'm going to open my effects library in the edit page here at the top. I'm going to come down to audio effects and let's just say I wanted to drag my de onto my track, click hold and drag it down onto the track area here or onto a clip, either one, release. Boom, there you go. That effect is now applied onto that track. It's the same thing as doing it in the Fairlight page. So there you have it, six free audio effects here in DaVinci Resolve, the free version, and the one magical noise reduction tool there, the voice isolation, which is only in studio, but it's, I mean, by far the best noise reduction tool that you'll have in any video editing software, I would say. So if you like these five free audio effects, you might wanna check out this video that's got five free effects in it. You want to level up your audio? Check out my audio course. I'll link it down below. And if you want to know more about any of these effects that we talked about today, I've got videos on each one of them in depth. What all the knobs, buttons, and dials do, you can check those out. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.